yesterday I got my uh, uh, special elections uh, ballot in the mail for the first congressional district. That's the uh, that's the seat that Neil Abercrombie gave up to run for governor. Um, I've been watching the debates. Uh, was it uh, yesterday? Not yesterday, the day before yesterday. They had the uh, debates on Hawaii News Now uh, with Colleen Hanabusa, Ed Case, and Charles DeJou. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was it was really entertaining. Uh, they got uh, you know they they answered some questions, um, but uh, they got also some digs at each other, which is always fun. Politicians really uh, are becoming more more entertainers than anything. I I think. <clears throat> because people are people don't really understand what it is that politicians do so we'll, so they have to be very good communicators in order to get votes it's basically like a popularity contest uh, so the impression that you the impression that you uh, give your voters is really important And you may have good intentions or whatever, but if you can't get the votes, you can't get into office. So, but I, I think it's very important that we do follow um, the political process and become educated on it. And, and, and most importantly, yeah, we, we do need to vote. Uh, because then we do, there's some accountability to you know our society and our government and and ultimately we we are the ones who are responsible you know we're the ones who put these people in office so yeah the the debate was really good um, I think performance wise it's kind of like judging American Idol. Um, they're not professional speakers, you know. They're they're lawmakers, you know. But we kind of judge them the same, the same way we would judge entertainers. And I, I would say that I think Charles DeJou had the best performance. Uh, he was very composed uh, when he delivered his message. He was very clear. Uh, I may not have necessarily agreed with everything that he was saying, but that's not that's not the point. Uh, I think performance-wise, he did a he did a good job. He was he was prepared, and uh, and then he also got his little digs in at uh, uh, Case. I don't know how close he is with Hanabusa. You know, Hawaii is such a small place politics-wise, and if you're, you know, if, if you're in politics, if you're currently in politics, I think you're more likely to be more cordial with with, the, with your opponents if they're also in politics as well. So both of them are, are, are serving uh, their respective constituents. Where Ed Case is not, I don't think he's currently involved in Hawaii politics. I mean, he may be involved at some level, but he's not necessarily holding a seat or anything on any, uh, you know, in the House or City Council or whatever. Uh, so I think it was kind of free game for them to go in and attack him. And it got pretty brutal at some point where Case, where Deju was um, attacking Case, Case's integrity. And you know how how Case ran against Akaka instead of serving out you know a complete term when when Case was uh, elected 
for the house way back when. So, and it got kind of personal. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the one thing that really kind of got me laughing was, was uh, they were interviewing the mayor, and then they interviewed uh, Duke Iona, the lieutenant governor. And, and they both were, you know, very non-partial, uh, you know, very good, uh, you know, keeping the spotlight on uh, all three uh, candidates. But for some reason, when they interviewed Lingle, she kind of felt the need to really endorse one candidate over the other three. Which I, I can see if that's, if that's the way you feel and stuff, but it just kind of seemed inappropriate for, you know, the current governor to be taking sides. I guess, I guess it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. I guess people do it. But, uh, and then, and then what kind of got me laughing was people were booing her. Uh, but she kept going on and on about the truth. And I, I thought that was kind of not very classy, but yet understandable since she was sitting in a room full of Democrats. So I, I guess I can't take some time to cheer for her. So anyway, I'm going to follow it a little bit closer. I have my ballot. Uh, I guess Milalani is in Michigan. It, you know, the funny thing was the first thing that Charles DeJou said when he uh, uh, did his opening statement. He held up the ballot. I guess he had the ballot already. And he was like, yeah, I'm the only one who's going to vote in this election. Because apparently uh, Ed Gates and Kaleen Hanabusa don't live in the first congressional district. So I looked it up online, and apparently it's just in town, out to the White Kai, to Mililani, and maybe out to Eva Beach, and that's about it. So if you're living, like, North Shore, uh, Windward Side, or, or Leeward Side, you know, like, um, you live out in White Eye or whatever, uh, you're, I guess you're under Maisie Verono's history. So that was kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm going to have to uh, follow it a little bit more. I think there's another debate coming up soon. And then, uh, yeah, I think the ballots have to be in by the 22nd of May. So uh, be sure to get that in. Yeah, so you guys should all be voting as well if you're, in, if you're living in town. Uh, you know, you got it. Whoever you, whoever you feel like you can identify with. Uh, I think it is kind of important, uh, the, you know, the House of Representatives and stuff. Uh, you know, they introduce bills and eventually you know, it goes to the Congress. And, you know, that kind of stuff. I think it's really important for Hawaii. Uh, definitely, Hawaii needs federal money, so whoever can get us the federal money. And then also, you know, shaping, you know, just having a say uh, in uh, national politics as well. Uh, I think we need to be represented uh, properly. So, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and it's good to have somebody who's going to be there, you know, for a while. So, I still haven't really decided, kind of leading towards the shoe, but uh, we'll see if, I, can, I, I like kind of boost, I know she's behind in the polls, uh, and, and you know, her and Case are splitting the Democratic vote, so uh, it's not looking really good there, but then again, there's always November, right, so it's kind of a shrink, shrink election. Anyway, make sure you vote.